All right, well, cover your eyes. We're gonna have some PDA. <laughs> Not <laughs> us. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound good. Oh no. All right. Our public display of affection to the men in our life. Okay, that doesn't even sound much better. Okay. <laughs> Just stay tuned. <laughs>
Tom's such a great handyman. You're so lucky to have a yeah. guy that can do this. Like the ones that really make me smile are like, he's handsome and handy. Like you, <laughs> you know, got both or whatever. And and it's and there's times where I'm just like. Well, yeah, but I do, you know, and I'm like, oh my. <laughs> like He's just the eye candy on this channel. Yeah, who does <laughs> like, the real work? Who edits the video, you know, like, <laughs> oh, who choreographed all this and, you know, but, and, but, but you know what I mean? How it's so easy to be like, well, but I do this and it's like, yeah. no, like, Yes, wow, I am so lucky. Like, he, yeah. there's so many good things that he's good at and that he does for us. And we just get caught up in the day today. And I know even these three tips, they're not gonna fix everything, right? There's a yeah. lot of hurts and different things that go a lot deeper, but it's amazing how if we can give this and give this to our spouse or to our boss or other men in our life that I think we will start to see some of the other things, the love and the other things we want coming back towards us too. And that was kind of the premise of the whole Mrs. Better Half. It's yeah. like, hey, you do you, boo. And, yeah. and, then, <laughs> and then see what follows, you know, right. see what the response is. But you yeah. know, this is what I can control. And yeah. then, and uh, and I think respect is just such a huge thing. And yeah. so are you ready it's to good. just say all the reasons you love and respect your husband? Yeah, I think we need to say our dad too. Should we start yeah. there? Uh, we have the world's best dad, I think. See, I'm going to cry at you, Todd. I know. <laughs> I mean, the hardest working person yeah. on the earth. Like, yeah. truly, hands down. And uh, what I love about that is that example. I think we both found husbands then yeah. that were equally so di diligent and entrepreneurial. Our dad is so entrepreneurial, and he's always thinking outside of the box and how can I you know help even establish more for my family oh, and yeah. he's grown the farming you know business and everything I mean oh my goodness just so well much. and I think one of my favorite things too is that I mean we worked hard growing up he worked hard but then he always said work hard play hard and so yeah. We always took time, we still took time to go on vacations and he, we didn't call them vacations, they were adventures, yeah. and, which was so fun. And I mean, we just got, I mean, we had to see a good chunk of the country just through those yep. adventures. And, and so he definitely had a great balance of work hard, play hard. And so it was, that was always fun. Well, and those are the things that I really love about my husband too. And so my public declaration of love for Princeton <laughs> is that, I mean, he, he's probably the second hardest working man in the yeah. world and he's so diligent, um, but at the same time, time he's so helpful like he is always helping me with the kids and always like whatever is needed like I know no matter what time of day or night it is if I ask for something he'll go take care of it for me it's amazing and he's been so supportive of me in my career and in growing you know as a pastor and in my communication and is always like whatever you need I support you 100% and so I couldn't have asked for more and I'm so grateful. I think we should uh, link to your declaration for your husband down below oh, yeah. too. That's we'll always tell a you good the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you get to see my handsome handyman, right? <laughs> on a regular basis. And he's funny and he makes everyone laugh wherever we go. We actually, one of the gals in our small group this other day, she was like, when Tom's not there, she's like, it's like something's missing, right? Aww. Like he, he can be the life of the party and then he can tell you he hates people. And we all know that's not <laughs> true, right? But he's hardworking, he'll try new things. A lot of the things he does, he does not know <laughs> what he's doing, but yeah. he'll keep working at it till he figures it out. And so, yeah, so we really love and appreciate that about him. Oh, isn't this fun? It is fun. Well, in the comments, why don't you make your public declaration of love toward your husband or dad or, uh, you know, whatever guy in your life that you want to celebrate today. and and we'll celebrate them with you. I mean, that's awesome. So we're actually gonna head over uh, to my parents' house and have a little celebration. Now I made bundt cake and we made cupcakes and brownies. <laughs> like we kind of went all out on the dessert. Oh man, <laughs> it's all dessert today. That's it. Yeah. Bring it on. So yeah, so we're gonna go have a little bit of a party and celebrate the cool men in our lives. But we hope that you have a really great Father's Day. We do know that it's not always easy or if you've lost dads and yeah. um, so it's not always easy either. So we're just thinking about you today and grateful and thankful for all the dads in our lives. All right, we love you and we'll visit with you again soon. What you doing, Dinah? Alright. Okay, so now we have to kiss you in the can you eyes open or closed? Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this one. Tongue or no tongue? <laughs> yeah. I was actually gonna ask that. I'm glad somebody right. else did. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool.